Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a flashable TWRP zip. Now there's two ways to create this zip. The first is by using a zip creation tool and the second is to manually create a zip through your system archiver. Now you're going to be using this to install APKs or to flash a new boot animation to your device and this will come in handy after a fresh ROM install especially if you use apps that aren't hosted on the Google Play Store and you have to install APKs manually. Now the first way to do this is by downloading a TWRP template zip. That link to that could be found over on the full guide over at Gadget Hacks, so be sure to check that out. And after you have that downloaded, you're going to open it using any kind of zip creation tool. In this case, I'm going to be using WinZip on my Mac. Um, but if you're using a PC, you could use WinZip or WinRAR or any kind of tool like that. And now if you have that zip open, you can see here that you have two folders. The first one, Meta INF. That one you do not mess with, just leave it as it is. And the second one is System. And here in this is where you're going to add all the folders and apps that you need in order to get them running on your device. Now to install APKs you're going to create a folder labeled app and all you have to do is drag and drop that in there and inside that I already have an APK ready to flash. For boot animations you're going to create a folder named media and then drag that over and inside that will be the boot animation.zip. Be sure to keep the app and medium folders lowercase because if you keep them uppercase it will kind of it will mess up your device and you will have to revert back to an old ROM uh, backup that you have to made through TWRP. And after you have that, you'll go ahead and save as a new zip. You can see here that the file in size has increased to 6.7 megabytes, and then you have to, all you have to do is transfer that over to your device and then flash out through TWRP. Now the second way to do this is by unarchiving that original template. You can see here that I already have that done. And again, inside this, you will see two folders. And if you go into the system folder, all you have to do is just drag and drop those app and media folders in there. Then go back to the main view of this. Highlight both the meta INF and system folders. And then compress them into a new zip. And after that's done, all you have to do is transfer that over to your device and then flash that the TWRP. <laughs> And just like with any other flash, you are going to want to make sure you have an Android backup before flashing them, just in case anything goes wrong. Nothing should, but you always want to have that safe net. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.